in this video, I will be showing you how to get God Human in Block Suites. If this helps you out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first thing you're gonna wanna do if you're not already is you're gonna wanna head to Second C. So before we get there, here's the requirements of what you're gonna need in order to get God Human. So now what you're gonna do is once you're in Second C, you're gonna wanna head to Hot and Cold. If you don't know where that is, just go to Cafe and then you can follow my lead from here. I'm gonna speed it up, so if it gets too fast, make sure you pause it. So as you can see on this island, there's a cold area and there's this hot area. You're gonna wanna go to the area with lava and you're gonna wanna go where these guys are. So first of all, first thing we have to do is get superhuman, which is like the version one version of God human. And to do that, you need 400 mastery on all three of these fighting styles. So what you can do, if you have it already, you can get a Buddha. And once you have Buddha, you can just start grinding. So you can start with what, whichever one you want. You don't have to do an order, just make sure to get them all at 400 mastery so you see water kung fu's 400 mastery and dark steps 400 mastery i love how all of them are like 400 mastery exactly i don't know about but yeah it's gonna be a lot easier to grind with buddha so make sure you do that hey guys future tetral here so actually you want 400 master on dragon's breath too i'm sorry i didn't say this in the video so once you have all your fighting styles to 400 mastery, you're gonna follow me. So you're gonna wanna make your way to Snow Island and there's basically the secret place behind it. So let's make our way up here. All right, so once you're on top of Snow Island, you're gonna cross the bridge. Make sure to walk past all of these NPCs and you're gonna go to the back over here. Right here, there's a secret door that you go inside of and then there'll be another door you go inside of. And then there's this man right here. Basically, you're gonna talk to this guy to buy Superhuman and it's gonna cost you 3 million belly. And then after that, you have Superhuman. So now that you have Superhuman, you actually wanna grind it to 400 mastery. So here's the move set for Superhuman. First of all, we have Beast Owl Pounce which it basically runs into them and then you throw a bunch of punches and it does a lot of damage. Next, we got Thunderclap and that does 3.7K. And then we got Conqueror Gun which is 4,000. So it's a really good move set and uh, melee does about 2,000 damage per hit. And the good thing about it is whenever you click, you don't move like other fighting styles, which means you can auto click if you don't have full body hockey. Anyway, so again, get your Buddha or whatever you wanna use and then start grinding the 400 master and superhuman. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make your way over to third C. So once you're in third C, you're gonna wanna unlock all the new fighting styles. So actually, let's start with the lecture clock. So buy a boat and start making your way to mansion. So for superhuman, you actually only need 300 mastery, but for like the B2 fighting styles, which you need for God human, it's 400 mastery. So that's why I had you guys get 400 mastery instead of 300. All right, so make your way over to mansion. If you don't have portals, just both there, but I'm gonna use a portal. If you do have portals, it'd be very helpful. All right, so I'm at castle right now. So at castle, you have all the previous um, fighting styles you can get. Here's one from second C, that's death step. That's Sharkman karate. That's also V2. And then here's all the V3, and then there's Superhuman. So first, we're actually gonna get Electric Claw. For Electric Claw, you need 400 mastery on just Electric. So make sure to get 400 mastery on that. I'm pretty sure you guys already did like before in the video. So if you guys already did that, you're gonna head to Mansion. I'm just gonna take the portal. And then from the Mansion, you guys are gonna follow my lead. So behind here, there's gonna be um, previous hero. Anyway, you're gonna talk to this guy. So Electric Claw is gonna cost 3 million belly and 5,000 fragments, which is a lot. So make sure to grind those and then you can talk to him. You don't have to grind him yet first. I'm pretty sure you can talk to him first. And then once you talk to him, he'll give you a quest. The quest will be to run back to mansion in under 30 seconds. So make sure right after you press talk, you're gonna run all the way back to mansion. Let me show you guys the shortest route for that. And we're here with time to spare. 
So once you guys do it, message will probably pop up above your screen saying, okay, talk to previous hero. Again, I've already done the quest, so it doesn't save that for me. So basically you're gonna go all the way back to him. And then after you talk to him again, you can pay him the 3 million belly and 5,000 fragments for it. Once you buy, then you have Electric Claw. All right, so make sure to get Electric Claw to 400 mastery, and then we can move on to the next fighting cell. So for the next fighting style, you're actually gonna head back to second C. There's actually two fighting styles you wanna get in second C, which is Sharkman Karate, and death step if you already have those then make sure to get them to 400 mastery and if you guys don't have it i will show you how to get it all right so once you're in second c you're gonna want to head to the ice castle if you don't know where that is let me show you guys i'm pretty sure you guys do if you are in third c but i'm just gonna show you anyway just in case All right, so once you're at Ice Castle, you're gonna wanna head up inside of the castle. So let's just get up here. And then once you're up, you answer and there will be a boss right here. He takes 20 minutes to respond, so I'll be back when he does. All right, so I actually just hopped into a public server. First of all, let me refund my stats. Oh shoot, wait, I gotta, I gotta go buy a stat refund. All right, so now that I have my stats refunded, basically you're gonna come over here and you're gonna wanna kill this guy, Awakened Ice Admiral. So let's just, uh... Oh shoot, I'm glitched. Ah, what is happening? What is going on? I'm glitched. I'm, I'm so glitched. Okay, I'm resetting. Bro, what was that? I'm never spamming moves on L-Claw again. Okay, so apparently, what? Uh... Okay, never mind. We got him out. We got him out. Okay, it's shell shit. All right, so now that you do that, there's a big chance you get the library key. It looks like this. It has a row on it. What's basically you're gonna go over here, and this door will not be open. You have to use the key on it, and after you use the key on it, then this girl will be just looking at books. Or why does she look so annoyed? And anyway, you're gonna talk to her. Assuming you have 400 master on dark step, you're gonna buy death step. It costs 2.5 million belly and 5,000 fragments. So after you buy it, you can learn and make sure to get this to 400 mastery. So now we only have two more fighting styles to unlock and get to 400 mastery. So so we're actually gonna stay in second seat and we're gonna go to the Lost Island, whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Lost Island. It's like Kaido's place. All right, so basically you're gonna go up here. It's called Forgotten Island. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Anyway, you're gonna go back here and you're actually gonna go to the boss. Is the boss alive? Did somebody kill him? No, they didn't, okay. Anyway, you're just gonna manhandle, manhandle. Manhandle. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, she spawned a sea beast. This guy's so annoying. I'm pretty sure after you kill him, his sea beast goes away. Hold on. Please? Wait, he's not dead yet. Okay. Anyway, after you kill him, you will get the water key. There's, again, it's a small chance. Okay, I'm not gonna fight the sea beast. Okay, so first of all, I can't even believe we got both keys in this video. That's crazy. Anyway, but after you get the water key, oh my gosh, there's an auto grinder. Let me just, uh, yeah. We're saving block screws right here. Anyway, you're gonna wanna make your way over here and you're gonna wanna talk to this guy. You're gonna wanna give him his key. And then, of course, you're gonna wanna pay 2.5 million belly and then 5,000 fragments. Once you learn it, you're gonna wanna get 400 mastery and then you're gonna want to make your way over to third c so after this point you have one more fighting style you have to get and get it to 400 mastery the god human grind is absolutely insane takes forever so basically we just need one more fighting style right the catch is this is literally the hardest one to get so you're gonna buy a boat it doesn't have to be from poor town it could be from any island you're on but you're gonna want to make your way to haunted castle if you don't know where that is just turn your graphics all the way up. If you have a laggy computer, you could just do it for like a second, see where it is, and then start making your way over there. So the reason this is the hardest to get is you have to get a very rare drop. And it's not like the water key or the library key where it's like a 40-30% chance. No, this is a very low chance. Not only that, but you're gonna wanna pay a lot of fragments in belly too. But once you have this, then you're done with the fighting style part. So you're gonna wanna make your way up here and basically you're gonna want to come over here to the graveyard and you're gonna wanna talk to this guy right here. Basically, you can trade bones for rolls. You have to have 50 bones to roll. I only have like one. You have to obtain something called the 
fire essence. So to get bones, I don't recommend killing the skeletons for it. They don't drop as much. You guys should come in the castle and then head downstairs. So the good thing about this is you can actually do it while leveling up your fighting style, the 400 mastery. Anyway, but you want to start killing these guys. There's a chance they'll drop bones, but when they do, that one, I got like four bones. Remember, you need 50 to roll. That one dropped five and that one dropped five. So it's not a guaranteed chance they drop bones, um, but when they do, it's a lot of bones. Like these guys drop the most for sure. Okay, actually I've been getting, okay. What the heck? I've been, okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it is a guaranteed chance. Maybe they like updated it. I don't know. When I, okay, when I was grinding for soul guitar, I needed a lot of these bones. I need to go around like 500. And they weren't, it was not a nod, a guaranteed chance they dropped it. I guess they're like, I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed now, which is really nice. So yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier. Just keep killing these guys. You get crazy amount of bones. Let's see how many bones we got. We got 55. So we have enough to roll. Let me get to like 100 first. Bro, the fact that they like guaranteed drop bones, that's just like, that's so easy. However, the roll for fire essence is still going to be pretty rare. Okay, never mind. That one did not drop bones. So I guess it is isn't guaranteed that one did okay so i guess there's like a small chance they drop don't drop bones oh i got my race v4 okay actually let me just like use it that way i can use my dark blade because i'm tired of using fishman karate all right so that one didn't drop bones so let's get up to around 100 let's see how much we have 82 okay let me switch to crystal katana all right let's go grind mode and we have 108 bones okay we actually like had it before anyway so once you have you can like try at 50 I recommend getting to 100 and then trying to roll. You're going to want to make your way back to that guy. And you're going to want to spin. All right, so you're going to want to click on this guy. And you're going to want to roll. You got some bones. Random surprise. Bye. You gave me... I rolled money. That's great. I'm actually very poor. Okay, let me roll again. Let's see. I got more money. That's also great. Anyway, you're going to want to keep doing that until you get the fire essence. Again, it's very rare. So it's a hard grind. Plus, considering you can only roll 10 times every two hours, it makes it a lot more difficult. What do you know? We just rolled 20 bones from the prey. We just rolled 20 bones from praying. That's crazy. Anyway, so once you get to fire essence, okay, it's not the hollow essence. Okay, the hollow essence you use to spawn the Grim Reaper. It's the fire essence. There's a difference between these two. All right, so basically you're going to want to make your way like up here. Uh, I recommend just climbing this chain and you're going to see a guy right over here so once you get the fire essence you're gonna want to talk to him and then you're gonna want to give it to him and after you get that it is three million belly and five thousand fragments once you pay them you're gonna want to unlock it and then finally get it to 400 mastery once you get all those fighting styles to 400 mastery you are finished with the fighting style part now comes the materials it's not as difficult as the fighting styles for sure but it's still kind of hard so next place you actually want to head to is in the second C. So let's go over there. I promise you guys this is the last time you're gonna need to go to second C. Basically you're gonna want to head to hot and cold again. Holy crap that tree went flying. Holy. Anyways you're gonna want to go to the hot side of the island and I think as you can already tell, we're gonna go for the magma ore. The magma ore has a low chance of dropping and you actually need 20. So this will probably take you the longest, if anything. So again, let me see if I can get one. So it's like a 10% chance, something like that to drop and then you need 20. So this is definitely gonna take you the longest out of all of them. And I just got one. That took a lot of killing, but um, Basically, that's how it looks like. You need 20 of those. So once you grind 20, you're going to stay in second C and you're going to follow my lead. So you're actually going to want to head back to Forgotten Islands. Again, that's the place we got Sharkman Karate. There's like a lot of traveling in this video. So basically next, you're going to want to get the Mystic Droplets. You only need 10 of them. So you're going to head up here and you can kill these guys right here. Okay, wait, I forgot I'll get my Buddha. What am I doing? So as always, let's try to get one. These are also pretty rare, but you only need 10. If you guys want, you can do the magma or first or last. It doesn't really matter. I personally just did it first just to get it over with because it's terrible. 
And boom, I just got one. So this is what it looks like. You only need 10. You only need 10 or you can get 11. That's fine. So last material you need, it's going to be 20 fishtails. Now these are actually very easy to get. So don't worry. But basically you're going to want to go to first sea. And once again, these are super easy to get. So do not worry. So once you're here, you're going to want to head over to the whirlpool. It's like between snow uh, island and the prison. If you like kind of look down at the sea, you can kind of see it. If you look up here, it's harder to see. So yeah, basically you're going to want to head towards there and then you're gonna want to go inside so you're gonna want to head to the right for the highest chance of getting them basically you want to kill these npcs until you get one and you need 20 of these once again they're not as rare i'm pretty sure it's like a 30 percent chance of dropping i don't know as you can tell i'm just okay there we go we just got one all right anyway yeah they look like this you're gonna want to get 20 of them after you have 20 fishtails, your grind is almost over. So the dragon skills you can get from going to Hydra Island and you can go over around here and you want to start and you want to start killing the dragon crew archers. I don't know why this NPC is in the ground. So you're going to want to kill these guys. Oh, I just got one. Okay, okay, yeah. So there's the dragon skill anyway, but you want 10 of them, which is not actually bad. So now after you have all of that you're gonna want to go and make your way to mansion so before we go the requirements for god human itself is five million belly and five thousand fragments so make sure you grind that so after you have that come back to mansion follow my lead so you're gonna want to make your way over here the npc for god human is actually hidden in a tree so let me show you guys where that is so he's gonna be in this tree over here so you're gonna want to come up here and there's like a secret little door like inside of it. So you're going to want to go down here. You're going to want to talk to him. You're going to want to pay him 5 million belly and 5,000 fragments. And once you do, finally have God human. This is probably one of the hardest grinds in Blocks Roots, if not the hardest grind in Blocks Roots. How can you blame them for making it hard, really? It's the best fighting style in the game. So after all of that, you guys finally have God Human. If this tutorial helped you guys out, please leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. It really helps out my channel and it takes me a lot of time to make these videos. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know in the comments uh, what tutorials you guys want. And if you guys want God Human combos, uh, just let me know and I can post shorts for all of you guys that PvP. Anyways, that's going to be it for me and I'll see you guys in the next video.